Hello. So I picked up a new toy this week. Uh, this is the Ruger Wrangler. Now, I like the cowboy style guns. Uh, this is in 22 long rifle. Um, they come in various different colors. Uh, the originally they came with this with the, you know, they only came with the, the four and a half inch barrel. It is. Yeah. Four and a half inch, uh, barrel and they come in black, a silver and the, uh, tan. They're all Cerakote. It's, it's not, the silver is not stainless. It's, uh, basically just a Cerakote. And what comes in the box is the gun and a lock. And that's about it. So, uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, thrills that come with it. But it's an inexpensive gun. It, it's not like the, the old um, the old Ruger 22 revolvers where they were made out of all steel and stuff. These are made out of... Um, so the barrel is steel and the cylinder is steel and like these are like metal injection molded. So that helps to keep the cost down. And it's very similar to what they do with the heritage. So this is a heritage. And um, so we're going to compare it to the heritage because it's basically on par. Now you can get these in the four and a half inch. This is the six inch or six and a half inch. Uh, the cylinders, they're both made out of steel. The barrels are made out of steel and stuff. Um, you can get anything you want. Like, these only come with certain things. Now they're starting to come with other colors. Um, but basically, it's this size gun. Some of them come with the bird's head now. But whereas Heritage, you can get all the different sizes you want. You can get every kind of hand grip that you could imagine for it and all that. But um, so it's it's comparable uh the price on this now i bought this for 225 dollars new whereas these uh, this is like 170 dollars new now what do you get for the difference well um the heritages they're nice guns but the the fit and finish is okay like see i got like scratches on mine already um so the, that's the downside is it's it's like a painted coat or something i mean if it's a cerakote it's not a very good uh coating on there so um i don't know how well this is going to last on that uh but you can see the fit is the fit and finish is really nice comparatively so uh but it's ruger it's a ruger they got a name to uphold uh one of the differences like this, when you open up, if you want to turn the cylinder, you have to put this at half cock to do the cylinder, which is a typical Western style revolver. It's like that. Where is this one? They, you just open it and it, which is very nice. It's nice and smooth. And then when you close it, it, you can lock it into place. It doesn't have any half cock though. It's literally like it, it has no half cock at all. So it's either all the way back or all the way forward. And this has got a transfer bar. So basically, um, when the trigger is pulled, it pushes the bar, holds it in place, and then it uh, strikes. So if you let go of the trigger and you drop the hammer, the, the transfer bar won't be there and it won't go off. Whereas this one, it's got no transfer bar. So it's just a straight into the uh, firing pin. Um, it's more simplistic. This is probably safer than that style. Um, this has a safety that they put on it, which I don't know why they bother because I have yet to ever use that. Uh, whereas the Ruger does not have a safety like that. So it's more, it looks more traditional. Um, but you know, it's little differences. Uh, I like the Heritage because I can get the 22 mag uh, cylinders in it and just interchange it. Uh, to my knowledge, you can't do that with the uh, Rugers yet. Uh, maybe they have it now, but um, I have not seen them yet. So, um, yeah. So let's get a uh, trigger pull and a weight. So, oh. so this is 30 ounces. 
And now, on their website, they say that you can dry fire this. Supposedly, the firing pin doesn't go far enough that it would hit the uh, cylinder. So, I'm just going to do that for the trigger pull and see what we get for a trigger pull. So, the trigger pull on this is... I got five pounds, one ounce. So... I, it's it's an okay trigger. Um, it definitely has got a, a definite feel to it that's kind of different. But uh, it's brand new, so it may wear in and just feel smoother than what it is now. The grips are a little bit different, too. So look at... See how the heritage is wide through? This is narrow. And uh, it it feels nice. It does. Uh, I'm used to the other ones, and this feels like if you've got small hands, which I got smaller hands, so it feels nice. Um, and it's got a nice checker texturing on it. But, I mean, this this one doesn't because I wanted the pearl grips. But, yeah. So, um, why don't we take it out to the range, and we'll see how it does. Hello. So... Today we're going to look at the Ruger Wrangler. It's in 22 caliber. Eh, if you've seen my channel before, you know I like the old western style guns. So, um, let's load it up and see how it shoots. So, sorry, I should have loaded it up beforehand. Okay, so we're all loaded up and we're going to be firing the Winchester bulk ammo, 38 grains. So let's see how it shoots. Ruger Wrangler. It's one of the cowboy type guns. And it actually shoots really nice. So out at the range, we had zero hiccups. Uh the the ammo that I was firing, the the Winchester like bulk pack, uh some of them were having a hard time ejecting. But that stuff is it's so like um inconsistent so I, I don't blame the gun on that that's something that when you buy the bulk ammo you get stuff like that so um when i was running the camera this is what i i shot six rounds and then i shot another six rounds right after and that's what i got for the accuracy and that was at 12 yards but you know i i shot it a little bit more and as you can see at 12 yards this was another 12 rounds and this was like another 24 rounds so um it's it's not like i'm gonna hit little army men at the 12 yards with it but it's good enough that i was you know if i'm going for a squirrel or something like that um you'd probably be able to hit it no problem yeah you know, it's a fun plinker i mean if you use it for hunting that's fine too it'll probably work fine for that um now taking it apart is the typical you know there's not much to take apart you just hit the button there Pull the cylinder, the uh, pin out for the cylinder, and the cylinder just pops right out. So, and then you put it back together in reverse. So when you close that, that's when it allows the uh, timing pin to go up. So there you go, and then that's back together. And then you need to make sure it's you turn the cylinder so that way because. If you, if you do that and you spin it, it's kind of random. And if you try to cock the hammer, see, like, I'm getting resistance. So what you got to do is you got to lock it into the, the thing and then it'll work. 
So don't force the hammer. If you get one like that, make sure you spin it. After you take it out like that, don't just try to pull the hammer. Turn this until you hear the click. And then once you hear the click, it's all set to go. Because people will be like, ah, and try to just shoot it. And uh, if that's not timed, then you can screw up the timing by forcing the hammer. So don't don't think that you're in the old west and you can do that. You could do that with the old ones that had the um, yeah, you know, like this where. So that was one of those you load it, load it, load it, load it, and then when you close it, you can still pull the hammer back, and that's fine. That system you can do that. This system you cannot. You have to when you, when you spin the cylinder like that and you close it it see it's it's there you go so it, once it goes in the once it clicks and you hear the click now it's ready so be aware of that if you if you get it don't don't like force it and then all of a sudden be like oh gee they're just a junk gun no it every gun you should learn how each thing functions and that was one of the first things that i noticed because it didn't have the half cock and then i went to pull the hammer back and i didn't force it so i was like oh you got to turn it so the timing uh clicks in so uh yeah so I, I mean i think it's a great gun for the price it's a it's a little bit more pricey than the uh heritage uh but you could definitely see the fit and finish is a little bit nicer and of course, it's a Ruger. Ruger's been around forever and has a great history. Um, not that Heritage is bad. I love Heritage. I got multiple ones, but this time I figured I'd get a Ruger and see how it compares. So uh, there you go. There's the Ruger Wrangler in 22 long rifle. And I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have a good day.